All right, on my way to gate 61 to catch the 7.10 p.m. flight to Frankfurt, Germany. Should be a decent getaway to Europe for the week. I'm just worried about the COVID test on the way home, but necessary expense. And thank God it's only $60 in Romania where I'm headed now. I've made it to Frankfurt, Germany. Now it's time to look for my gate off to Romania. Pretty busy airport today. Great. Yash. I got myself a Mick Cafe for a Euro 29. Definitely cheap. Cheaper than Canada, actually. And on my way to the gate to head to Yash. I just spotted a pretzel stand, so I'm gonna go have a German pretzel before my flight to Romania takes off here. Hardly anything is open at the airport, so one of the few culinary treasures that I can enjoy at least while I'm in this very short one hour layover here in Frankfurt, Germany. Long lineup is usually a good sign. So I'm definitely stoked to have found this pretzel cart. There's not much open in the airport, but this makes my day and is the perfect little treat during my layover here in Frankfurt. All right, I am boarding the flight to Romania. I just arrived here in Yash, Romania. I'm gonna get an Uber to my hotel now and finally unload all this luggage after a good 24 hours of travel from Canada. So definitely got enough rest though. I'm not feeling too tired, but it'll be nice to unload and actually threw myself up to go sightsee around Yash. The Uber is on his way, so looks like about 10 minute wait for him to get across town to the airport. And then I'm off to the hotel that I booked here for the night and to check out the city center of Yash. Hard to remember. Kind of memorized it as Ayasi, but Yash. All right. So this is the Unaria Hotel and Spa in downtown Yash, Romania. And this cost me about 70 Canadian dollars, inclusive of tax. So pretty inexpensive. Take a look outside at the view of Yash. This is amazing. They gave me one of the best views in the house. This is the top floor. 
of the tower looking over the city of Yash. I don't really have any plans. I didn't really even look what there is to do in Yash. I booked this ticket because it was the quickest connection to leave Frankfurt. So out of all the cities in Romania, this was the easiest to seamlessly connect out of Frankfurt right away and maximize my daytime hours for sightseeing. All the other flights arrived late in the evening with long layovers in Frankfurt. So this was perfect. So I'm actually gonna be able to do a full day of sightseeing here, which is very unusual for me uh, with these flights. There's not a lot running right now. So this really did work out to get here. It's only two o'clock in the afternoon right now. So enough to see this relatively small city of Yash. So let's do the tour as usual. Um, is this anything? Okay, I guess it's just a false little door. All right, so there is a safe, slippers, bathrobe, extra pillows and blankets. Checking out the washroom. Yeah, it's, you know, dated. It's by no means terrible. Your typical, you know, days in type quality hotel room anywhere in North America. A little mini bar right over here. Television seating but yeah the ac sucks this is what 70 dollars gets you 70 canadian dollars or about ah, 55 us in yash romania there's definitely some intriguing architecture here in the city center of yash and you can see the massive square here down below i believe it's some local hero some statue there this is the main road that cuts through the heart of downtown Yash. All the major sites are along this route, including many of the monasteries, and at the very end, the Palace of Culture, which is the number one site here in Yash. This is also called the City of Seven Hills, and it actually does have seven hills that surround the city, and each one has a small monastery perched at the very top. So definitely an intriguing place. The only problem is, yes, I got here at one o'clock in the afternoon. It's about four now, so I took my time getting that Uber out of the airport, and now I am. I just showered and freshened up after, you know, 24 hours in the air. I am so wiped that I don't want to go sightsee, but I'm going to force myself to at least make this 15 minute trip by foot, 1.2 kilometer walk from this square all the way down to the Palace of Culture in the distance, you can't really see it, but that's the plan for today. Go sightsee along the route, get some pictures of some of the architecture of the area, and I guess gauge what my plan will be tomorrow based on how much I get done today.